In this video we're going to look at the steps to draw a navigation diagram for a website. Step 1. Analyze the scenario. OK, so here I have a design specification checklist already filled in. And we have the organization, which is high res records, and the organization summary. Uh, high res records is an independent record label that currently has four bands or artists signed that actively produce new music. Now the purpose of the website is to provide information on each of the bands including tour dates and photo albums to allow viewers to listen to selected tracks and to link to online stores where viewers can buy and download the music tracks. Now the characteristics of the target audience are the demographic of the followers of the signed bands which are people between 18 and 24. The majority of these are Australian with a variety of cultural backgrounds with English as their main language and high computer skills. The content requirements are for uh, text information about the bands, a discography, tour dates, when to see them live, a photo album, slideshow, audio tracks to listen to and links to the online music stores. Now the proposed content types are logos, text, photos, videos, music and audio and other navigational links. And the proposed web environments are a CMS or a content management system, streaming audio and direct links to audio downloads. One way to analyze the scenario is to create a mind map, and I like the online tool texttomindmap.com. Okay, so here we are in Text to Mind Map, and uh, it comes with a standard months of the year mind map. So I'll delete that and just type in high res records, and that will be at the center point. And if I click on Draw Mind Map, you can see it in the middle there. And now the next one, I'm going to tab this next one in, and this is going to be the purpose. And underneath that I'm going to have the content and underneath that I'm going to have the audience and after that I'm going to have web environments. Okay and I'll click draw mind map and you can see them pop up as separate items in my mind map. Now under purpose I'm going to tab one in and I'm then going to type in the purpose so it's to provide information uh, to the fans, that's one purpose, and also to promote the tour dates, and also it's to advertise the albums and online material. Okay, I click draw mind map, there you go, and they pop up. Now, under content, we can put in some of the content. So, uh, the content is uh, obviously the band info and the tour dates and also we need photos and the uh, audio tracks that they're going to listen to and links to the online music and I'll click on draw mind map again and that pops up now I can put in the audience tab it in again so they're 18 to 24 year olds uh, they're based in Australia so it's Australian and they're multicultural, so different cultural backgrounds. And um, they've got uh, computer skills. Okay, draw mind map, up it pops again. And now for the web environment, some of the web environments we need. We need a, a CMS, which is a, a content management system. We'll also uh, need uh, some sort of streaming audio for them to listen to the music and we'll need a slideshow or maybe a gallery component in there as well and um, if I go, oh yes and also I think uh, some sort of uh, audio and music store that they can link to and I'll draw the mind map and there you go there's the mind map if I click on any of these items I can move them around and then that sort of locks them into place so um, there's the web environments, the audience, the content and the purpose so we have an idea of what it is that we're actually doing so we can move on to the next stage Step 2. Plan the required pages and decide on the navigation structure. OK, so I've already written down some content and some pages on some sticky notes here. And here's the, the home page. 
and then um, I've got some other notes here with uh, here are links to bands so that content is going to go in the home page and uh, then I've got a whole bunch of other things um, for example each of the bands now there's four bands so I've got a sticky note for each band so band one band two all the way through to band four so I'm just going to stick these underneath and there's band one and band two and band three and band four now the point of doing this is that you can move these around and it's very quick and very easy to change the structure I've also got a music store I'll just put that at the end there now um, I'm kind of running out of space so I'm gonna have to shuffle them all along there we go which is the benefit okay so um, I've also got um, a place to buy or download music now I've marked this with red because um, that's a special uh, place that uh, you have to be logged in to actually get into so it's not publicly accessible so that's under I'll put that under the music store and uh, now we've got the content management system login so that's for people to go in and actually change the content uh, so the owners um, and the content management system to actually change the content again that's a special place only people who are logged in can access it so that's uh, why I've got those lines on there now I can go from my home my links to the bands um, I can uh, go to the music store if I want to to actually buy the music or I can actually then uh, log in and actually change the content so that's a, a basic sort of structure now all of these things are, are more about the content um, so this is a, about and uh, it's got logo and text for band one this is listen there'll be an audio player there so I can stick that under band one as well that could actually be a separate page so we've got an about and a listen page um, I've got an albums page uh, that's got text and images so that's all for band one again I'm running out of space so I'll just shuffle those all up I've also got photos a slideshow all of or a gallery will be in that page so I'll stick that one under there and also live information and images about that band so that's all for band one so I can move these things around shuffle the spaces uh, get it so you can see what's going on now for band two three and four I've actually got very similar information so um, I've got the about I've got the listen and the albums and the photos and the live information so all of that's very similar so I can actually just speed this up now the benefit of this is that we can imagine going through these different pages and linking from one page to another and deciding exactly what we want to do okay so for example um, we've got uh, the listen page uh, on all of the bands and maybe you want to link from all of those to the music store so people can buy music so that's an example of, of how we can arrange the navigation watch part two for the final steps in designing a navigation diagram